Okay, so I think before you can understand the charting of the gaps themselves by doing, you know, this whole thing right here where you change this to orange and this basically becomes your support resistance on the chart as you're trading it, this is a real thing. Now, let me tell you one thing. In today's market, there's a few things going on that have never happened to this extent. And number one, that is the extent of interfund lending going on due to the SEC relief that was issued prior to SLR being inactivated, which was basically the relief that gave banks freed up liquidity to invest in risky assets, buy up everything under the sun, and now they're sitting on multiple trillion dollar value portfolios, which is the direct source of the inflation tied to the SOFR rate and the on RRP program, which is the reverse repo. Now, again, this is never, ever, not even close. Okay, where is it? I mean, we, we were at two trillion a couple days ago. Now we're, I mean, we're sitting still right there at the at the border of 1995 at all time records. And when I say all time, it's unprecedented, never even this close. So whatever complacency trading strategy, you know, technique you think has worked, the markets are evolving. They have been for a while, and there are inefficiencies that can be exploited, which I strongly believe based on the evidence and the trading record that I have trading these gaps that they are not only tradable, but they're almost tradable to a certainty. Now, before you can understand the charting of these gaps like so, and, and the idea is the gaps provide a future outlook for price action, and they also correct back-looking price action as well, which is what I'm going to go over in this video right now. So before we start worrying about these gaps themselves, I would like to show you what I think the Wix purpose is for. Now, let's just go back in time. We're on the one minute time frame. I can I can do this on the five. I know a lot of people like to trade on the five. I'm just going to go off the five just to be uh, more mainstream. Now, when you see Wix, I want you to chart them like this. At the top, wherever, you can draw an angled line and you will notice very quickly that there are gaps that are filled by Wix, almost as if it was by design. The reason I was on the one minute is because it shows these gaps more clearly. It doesn't appear on the one minute or on the five minute, but once I go down to the one minute, it's a different story. So that's where we started pre, uh, after hours today. Just one minute, keep in mind. This is where I began doing this. So again, look, have another look. Now what do we see? Down here, this wick, it goes down to close this void in price action these voids that were left over from the past. Then you get a secondary wick here. And when you start looking at this, oh, I, I missed that one. And only do it with wicks. Don't do it with candle bodies. Just do it with wicks. You will notice very quickly that you can find an angle, like that gap. Actually, this was closed here. But, you know, the thing is, this is when you start to measure. So, you just do the angle and you draw a horizontal line here to see was this gap filled we're talking wow this one wasn't that actually closed this one too this one to this one that's nuts um, so we're looking from here we want to see if this one closed this gap or did this red candle take care of it that's where you just draw a horizontal line at the top of this candle and yes it this candle did close this gap so we don't need to worry about that but anyways the point of this is look at these wicks now Keep in mind, these purple dotted lines is basically like the vision angle of these wicks of their view on the uh, the past price action. Now look how accurate this shit is. This right here, it basically perfectly just hits the top of this candle and closes this small, it's a sliver of a gap. I, it's so small I can't even put this, uh, this dot on it because it's so limited. But if I could put this in the middle of these two, it would be perfect. It also filled this one here. Because this one, if you draw a horizontal line, if you look where my mouse is, 
that's as that far as it gets right here. So between here and here, that gap got filled by this wick. Because look, there's after this candle here, there is nothing else in the way other than this wick which took care of it. Now look at this one. This one from today, this wick here, it happened at 9.46 p.m. Eastern, right off the open. At the Actually, it was at the high of the open, which if you can see, this is our, our charting mechanism for today. Look how fucking perfectly it works. These are open gaps that provided us a support and resistance track during the intraday trading, and it matches the RSI perfectly. RSI is overbought here, RSI is getting overbought here. Boom, hits the tip, boom, trajects down, hits the tip, boom, trajects up. It's perfection. Breaks over it the same time this becomes overbought. It's perfection. Now, that's besides the point. This wick here from today, 946. Look at this shit. Not only does it close this gap here, this big one, there's nothing else in the way. Nothing. There's nothing in the way of this shit and this gap. Nothing. This wick closed that shit. All of it. Not only that, but it sliced right in between here, down here, and filled these gaps as well. I, it filled this one too. I really can move these. More like this. It, it cleaned up all of that. Now, when you zoom out further, and keep in mind, as we're doing this, we remove lines because it would look like a sloppy mess if you kept lines on, but, you know, it, you know, earlier during the day, like when this gap here was open, like this, this closed uh, in after hours. Or pre-market, I'm sorry. This one closed in pre-market this gap down here. So we had this one open. That was a more, uh, another support level. And this one down here was open. This was a support level down here. So if you bring this down here and go look at the intraday trading, look. And then we moved it up. We moved it up. When it closed that gap, we moved it to the next one. And then look, boom, hits it right there at support. You can't, I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm just saying. But more importantly is the wicks right now. They close shit. They close previous gaps. Boom. It's closing all this. This would not have been closed if this wick wouldn't have extended out up here. This one here closes this. This one here laser shoots and closes these right here. So it's like a back looking cleanup system or something. I don't know how you want to describe it, but this trading range here is flawless when we had our gaps down here, I mean, I'm telling you, very, very precise. Now this one here, the gap filled to about right there, and this cleaned up the rest. So if we put this line at the top of this candle here, look, it is perfect, perfectly filled. At the top of this candle there, that's technically the top, it is perfect. Now that's where I stopped. So does this one fill any any gaps? Let's find out. That one does not appear to. But you get what I'm saying. That shit's insane. Here's some here. Oh, I guess that's not where I stopped. Here's some here. More are closed up. Actually, this one uh, was closed as well. Oh, no, it wasn't. That one was closed by that. That, that was right. But yeah. Closed it up. If it wasn't for this, we're talking. Actually, this wick down here closed it. This is the top of the gap. This one closed this one up here. This one right there. That one. This one here was closed by this one. This wick here. Draw a straight line out. Nope, not quite tall enough. It was this one. Unless that moved. 
Yeah, that one closed this one as well as this one. So between these two. And again, I would just go in and look at this. I mean, it's I'm not making this shit up. I'm showing you this on a real chart. This isn't you know bullshit. Um, it's it's just interesting to me. Yeah, that that gap was closed by this these set of wicks here. But yeah, just go take a look. You know what do you got to lose? This one here closed up by that. If if that wick wouldn't have extended to close that gap, there would have been nothing else to stop it. it nothing in its way. If that if this wick would not have been created at that moment to close that gap, and you see the resistance right here, you see it right there. You see the resistance sitting above it. It had nowhere else to go. So I'm telling you, when you see wicks, expect price control. Technical analysis is much better when you have a basis to do it. If you're just doing TA, like, hey, look, I'm doing an MA strat, like, that's badass, but it may not work in this current environment. And when banks own the market more times over than they should, like, literally, everyone's talking about naked shorting and GameStop and AMC. They've fucking, it's, they've done it to everything. There's no shares trading on the market. It's all in the secondary, or the primary market, which is where ETFs are created and redeemed. That's where all the liquidity is being used. Secondary market's a barren wasteland. The SPY has got too much liquidity in it. They can't take enough out of it. That's the problem. So it's Gap Fiesta. And this is uh, your wick lesson, I guess. Meant for members. You know, if you're not a member, you may not know what the hell I'm talking about. But for members, this <laughs> hopefully this helped. We'll get into it more and more as time progresses. Remember, no rush. We have to adapt with the market. We can't rush it. We have to make sure we understand it firmly before we actually trade off it. And by the way, the addition of the Weeble options paper trading opens up so many doors for not only you to practice risk-free, but you can not you can get experience holding options, seeing how puts work, seeing how calls work, seeing how out of the money calls work, seeing how in the money calls work, seeing how theta works, X amount of days to expiration boss blunts, you know. Theta is not your friend unless you're selling calls, dude. That's why you keep losing. If you're going to buy out of the money calls, you got to do it like we did. You got to play it. You got you got to buy them the day before it runs, not three months, and sit on them, out of the money. That's not smart. But you know, you live and you learn. Hopefully. But you just gotta you just gotta learn, man. You're never gonna win. You're never gonna get this market if you just don't spend some time and look at the inefficiencies around the market. They're everywhere, and you can play off of them. So uh, again, my dad always said, "You're Charlie, you're a fucking retard. Have a good night.